Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Um, so we're still chatting into the small hours of the night with some Saturnians. Oh, uh, some people were discussing their, um, their energy field with them. Uh, they said... The thing of it is, their energy field is from about green to about purple, and then it proceeds into the ultraviolet range, which for us is beyond the the physical frame and within it. And uh, but as far as the yellow and orange and red, orange and yeah, yellow, the orange and red are concerned. They don't have that in their energy field of their beingness. So when they associate with a human, say a human that loves wisdom, say a yogi that's a jnana yoga, yoga practitioner, uh, the, you, you, you will find a, like an energy overlay that emphasizes chakras um, seventh and sixth and the shade of green for the heart chakra changes from from the normal color to a kind of a different color and then below that you will find a, a washing out of the colors of the human form um, so uh, we talked to them earlier today about that and they understood they said that for them it feels better and we thought they thought that we would be better if our energy field, which looks so beautiful, I mean, if their energy field, which looks so beautiful to them, were to be more uh, transferred into our energy field, they thought that we would be fixed or better or made more whole through that. And we explained that the human energy field, in order to function appropriately, uh, needs to have more energy, a different kind of green in the heart, and that the bottom part of the energy field needs to be filled in too. And so they understood that, and I think we'll see a change in that in the future. So there's that. That, um, that energy shift that we were talking with them about might have something to do with the pictures that I've drawn of people who are spiritual adepts who have mostly uh, third eye point energy and then uh, there's a disconnect at the heart that leads to like a separate functioning of the lower triangle, the gut brain. And so once these repairs of the energy are washed over and made rebalanced by the uh, by the Saturnians for people all over Earth, we may find much less uh, of likelihood of that dysfunctional energy array that used to be characteristic of so many spiritual adepts. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure you are too. Um, it should lead to a fuller, more joyful life for all those who practice the, um, the pursuit of wisdom and knowledge as a means of enlightenment on earth. There's been a proposal that the color of the heart chakra of the antisocial personality, of which there are many on earth, may more closely resemble would be the heart chakra would be like the basal chakra for the uh, Saturnians, and uh, it could be that there was an affinity uh, of color for the heart chakra there. Okay, here is another instance of cultural disparity or discrepancy. Um, between the Saturnians and and Earth beings, um, 
there are antisocial elements amongst earthlings, which is an atypical pattern of the heart chakra amongst earthlings. The color green is different. Uh, I, I'll try and get that together one of these days. The colors that people associate with compassionate heart as opposed to uh, the antisocial heart chakra. Um, I hope that can be done. Uh, but, but anyway, um, there's a story on the astral plane about an, an antisocial person who promoted, who was in a position to promote, uh, who was in favor because of his soul learning. He was, he was looked upon well by the Saturnians uh, who granted him great power in the world. Uh, not the kind of power where people know about it, but the kind where the astral heirs thrill with that power and convey it to different sorts of beings on earth, including uh, the jinn were under his command uh, for a while uh, in creating the, the hives epidemic uh, pandemic worldwide uh, to and a human among humankind leaders of governments and people in placed in high positions uh, just in religions and uh, just local governments and wherever there was power uh, that person had influence on the astral heirs in the astral realms because the Saturnian supported his 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 energy wash his energy the energies of his his energy was uh, was mainly third eye point and the heart chakra was um, sometimes very very bright and sometimes very dim and the the energies for the lower part of the body were dysfunctional um, for a number of reasons and and so but but those lower parts of the body those those colors are not important to the Saturnian so they disregarded the fact that that those those shifts of colors there cause that person to engage in violent sexual activities. Um, they just, that meant nothing to them. And so they concentrated on the great soul learning that the person had in terms of knowledge and wisdom. Um, anyway, so because of that, he, he, he had according to this, this astral urban story, he had great power in the world. And uh, uh, one of the mental filters that he had had to do with the Catholic Church, which is just a huge uh, power across the world. Now, my own attitude towards the Catholic Church is that it emphasizes peace and loving kindness amongst peoples and it honors women and children and tries to uplift the poor and make sure that everyone has a roof over their head and work and so forth. That everyone have better living standards. Such is my understanding of the Catholic Church. But uh, this person had a very different idea about the Catholic Church. He felt that it promotes wars uh, in many countries in the world. I never heard this. Uh, it was the exact opposite of my idea of, of Catholicism. But, but this person had great influence over the movie industry. And, and oddly, it's my, and he was very in favor of the movie industry of, and the mass media uh, as ways to transform the world and to uplift people's knowledge and wisdom and understanding about things especially about the foibles of human behavior. And so, and the, and the, uh, like the, 
unreal nature of the duality play on Earth. So these are themes that have been appearing lately, actually, in our movies. So that part is 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 a true thing as far as my awareness timeline is concerned. There have been quite a few movies along those lines recently. Um, anyway, so the urban legend went that this person very much promoted mass media for that reason. And and my understanding of mass media is, it, in recent days is, the, is pretty much the exact opposite. Sometimes it's used for great good and for peace and love and understanding in the world. But it, it, to my mind, most mass media has a very destructive effect upon the human psyche, increasing violence and uh, drug use and 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 many bad things all across the world because it's re like the Catholic Church it's reaching out to many countries in the world so the question is which is true which is better you know so the Saturnians picked that person uh, and and I pick the opposite but I and unless the Saturnians agree with us and work together with us uh, for our vision of life on Earth, it is much more difficult and it takes much longer. So, so I've pointed out on the psychic plane uh, my own point of view in that regard, and I hope that it will now be taken into consideration. Uh, the, here in the world of duality, as mass media has been emphasizing recently, um, for example, through the movie called Good Omen, here in the world of duality, as the mass media have been emphasizing recently, there is always a play of light and dark. We're never without the play of light and dark. And so one may expect in all the great institutions of Earth, whether government or religion, whatever the religion uh, in, uh, in, in the economic sphere, in the stock markets, in the banks, in the um, corporations, uh, and in the countries, the governments of all the countries of Earth, and also in the great power held by the mass media. There will be both dark and light. It's the nature of the dual realm. So, so we're working with all of it to uplift all of it, I feel. And there's no use taking sides and pointing fingers in that manner. It's not conducive of world peace, I feel. It's the product of a mental filter and a mental outlook. It's the thought of one individual rather than the thought of all the people, all the humankind on earth. And so, I it's my hope that in future, the Saturnians will stand back and... and and in a more uh, hands-off manner so that the course of free will may flow freely all over Earth through the new spheres of Earth. And, and we will see how that does. Maybe that will improve our chances for soul evolution. The, the Saturnians uh, like to perform experiments and uh, the 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 reason they perform the experiments is that they're interested in knowledge and the pursuit of knowledge and the accumulation of wisdom and the experiments that they perform on other groups of beings as scientists are not the types of experiments that we sanction through the Nuremberg codes the international codes uh, First, unless you object, they perform the experiment. Instead of asking first, they'll just assume that it's okay. Because of the way that their culture is, with the emphasis on, on accumulation of knowledge, and uh, the, the, what we call the heart chakra, uh, the, the value of compassion that, that we have as a human culture, is not something that they are strong on or keen on. And so their experiments that they do on other sets of beings to further knowledge 
uh, are not marked by compassion. Um, so you'll see uh, through their influence experiments on small groups of human children that uh, that may result in their being euthanized afterwards. Uh, typically for the purpose being to improve the human race through uh, the direction of a master group of beings that are more wise. Uh, by and this is a plan that has worked well for the Saturnians in their on their planet. Um, on this planet, this is a free will planet, and it and uh, the, the colors of the energy fields of humankind and other sentient mammals on this planet um, make it not as as likely of a successful manner of proceeding as on Saturn, I feel. That's my feeling about it. It's because the nature of Earth is a water world. If you listen to the NASA recording about um, the sound of Earth, you'll get the difference in like tenor and tone of the cultures of the two, uh, not cultures, but spirits of the two planets, very different. And so, uh, here on Earth, um, some experiments have taken place through, with the help of um, what we call antisocial personalities, uh, whose heart chakra, I'm positing, may have uh, a green shade of energy that's pleasing to the the beings of Saturn, the Saturnians. Uh, light workers may recall that at the time of the great shift uh, on Earth in 2012, in the year 2012, there were groups of beings that had formed uh, scientific experimental groups uh, and wanted to experiment on the light workers um, and they assumed that it was all right to do these, these these experiments and there were those amongst the Elohim that had allowed that um, uh, when I as a light worker objected to the team that was assigned to me doing these experiments uh, uh, they they ceased to do them. My guess is that the groups in question were scientists amongst the Saturnians, uh, and their desire to do those experiments was motivated by their 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 appreciation of wisdom and and knowledge. Um, speaking a little more about uh, Saturnian experiments with humankind in order to increase their level of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, and in accordance with their cultural understanding uh, that that's a very important uh, attribute. Another method that the Saturnians uh, devised to to, to do this was the yoking of a person, a spiritual adept with a well-developed um, psychic abilities, uh, but uh, unnoticed to the Saturnians, uh, injuries in the lower triangle uh, to uh, a person who's heart chakra expressed compassion, the notion being that then the, the wash through, uh, the psychic cording of the spiritual adept to the, the light worker or saint that expressed compassion um, would uh, change the 
color uh, coding of the energy field of the of the compassionate person so that it resembled more the the color pattern of the energy field of the Saturnians. Uh, this is in fact something that happened to me in the early 2000s and continued on until about um, 2016. Um, and then off and on since then it has cropped up, um, but not consistently so. Um, so I can attest to the result for me as a compassionate person and light worker was the diminution and dimming of my heart chakra uh, especially after the year 2016. And the contamination of my lower triangle with the um, malware of the spiritual adept to whom I was yoked or accorded. The courting happened through a member of the negative uh, astral entity group uh, that is assigned to the spiritual adept and the compassionate person by the, by the Saturnians. So, um, so there have been talks, and, and since those talks yesterday, uh, an accord was reached, and one of the ramifications of the, the accord uh, between the Saturnians and the compassionate heart human beings uh, representing the the Christ consciousness and the Buddha consciousness is that uh, the, the as of last night and continuing on in today and hopefully on into the distant future, um, the Saturnians have de-yoked the spiritual adept, uh, compassionate heart pairs of people that had been like linked together or chained together through, say, a demon or devil, what they usually call it, um, in, in a pro profane astral romantic relationship, what we call, what we light workers call astral rape. So, uh, so all that seems to have stopped as of last night and today, and I'll keep my fingers crossed for all of us that, that we may go on our way with, with with free will and with commitment to the good of the all here on this this water world we call Earth our home. Um, I think if they, now that they have accepted that it's less helpful of a, less useful of a color green for uh, humankind than the typical color of green that in it, that includes the emotion of compassion, we may find that there are less uh, that less power is in the hands of antisocial personalities worldwide, and this would be a good thing because the power of the controllers would be uh, dimmed here on Earth, and free will be would be accentuated more. Uh, and it would be much less likely that uh, that there would be murders and deaths uh, through violence and uh, wars and so forth. And I think the raising of children would be more compassionate as well. So these are all very positive outcomes for us human beings from from the tentative decision of the Saturnians to to uh, to promote in humankind this the color green that includes the emotion of compassion. Uh, we may also see less uh, uh, scientific experiments that exclude compassion and and less permissiveness of uh, life-shortening uh, Western medical operations that derive their guiding light 
from the Saturnian uh, prior understanding that that color green is more appropriate than the color green that includes compassion uh, because that like tendency, cultural tendency of the Saturnians uh, leads them to allow uh, Western medical operations that are not really warranted, that are, uh, say, based on a false uh, diagnosis of cancer or uh, based on a desire to uh, shorten the colon for the sake of receiving money uh, from the government for Obamacare. Uh, the iatrogenic uh, fatalities that are occurring in the United States, doctor-caused fatalities at a very high rate right now, I feel will be greatly reduced um, because the Saturnians will no longer be siding with the, the uh, mental decisions of, of con artists and uh, gangland bosses and uh, people in power who have no compassion uh, through cultural bias. That, that, in other words, uh, an experiment will be made by the Saturnians whose influence is felt uh, in waves of years of sets of 11 uh, through the relative lightness of the atmosphere of Earth during solar minimums. Um, so at those times we'll see improvements in uh, in the figures for doctor-related mortalities for patients because they, there's no longer uh, uh, a push or a drive or a, sh or a shove or a thought or a hint that gives the doctors uh, those ideas or that misplaces data uh, regarding patients so that so that the tests show positive when in fact they are negative, or they're the tests for the wrong people and so forth. If you want, if you see what I mean, there's a wide-ranging uh, beneficial effect that's about to flood through Earth because of this tentative changed understanding of the Saturnians as to how they may help our race evolve. I could provide a, a case in point, uh, and I will try to do so in such a manner that no one is put on the spot. Uh, in recent years, uh, there was a case of two psychologists. One was, uh, had a, uh, a tendency towards towards crime gang endeavors, towards, uh, what do you call it, uh, confidence games and so forth. And uh, apparently, in fact, uh, did not have a, a psychologist degree. Uh, that person was like uh, assuming that degree under false pretenses. And that person had the color of green in their heart that's preferred by the Saturnians and had also a great deal of soul learning of a type that is accumulated by the Saturnians and that that both it resonates as true with that planet and also here on Earth, uh, but to a much lesser degree. Uh, then there was another uh, psychologist who had uh, developed a compassionate heart and so was in, you know in a, in a on a path towards enlightenment according to what humankind considers a strong value in that like a Buddhist or Christ-like consciousness and uh, the the first psychologist wanted 
wanted something bad to happen to the second psychologist so that the first one would have uh, as a patient a person marked as a pigeon by a crime gang. And because this person, this pigeon, was um, frequenting both psychologists. So what happened was that through the influence of the Saturnians, uh, five wrong diagnoses of cancer were made with regard to the second psychologist. This is how the story goes, so that more and more of that second psychologist's internal organs were removed until that psychologist was on the point of death and was no longer able to practice. And at that point, uh, mind control was used to remove that psychologist from like the geographic region of the pigeon so that, uh, so that in a roundabout way, the, the wishes of the first psychologist who though in a way antisocial or criminal in tendency according to um, according to human uh, cultural values was uh, closer in line to the Saturnian ideal uh, for for cultural values do you, do you, do you see what I'm aiming at whether or not this story is true it re still represents the issues that come up in uh, interspecies relations, even within this solar system. So, so talking it through and in speaking in a manner that reflects respect for the cultural values of the other species is paramount to successful outcomes for humankind and for the other species, I feel. There's another case of a, of a thought process that, that represents a conflict between the Saturnian and human cultures. Uh, this has to do with uh, left brain thinking, I think, in this case, or strong third eye point thinking. Um, and the concept of, of, of quicker progress for humankind, higher living standards for everybody, uh, more share, sharing of the wealth, perhaps better education, better jobs, and so forth. The idea of utopia on Earth. And the thought uh, that I heard on the astral plane some years ago, probably merely a thought process, but nevertheless very, uh, very instructive, um, was that there was a type of portable, transportable by one person, uh, atomic bomb, that weighed only about 100 pounds, that had been manufactured to the south of us, in another country and they cost fifty thousand dollars and that could only be detonated um, by a person manually so that person who actually had fifteen thousand dollars and wanted to 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 use the uh, portable atomic bomb as a bargaining chip in negotiating for better uh, living standards for all humankind or for humankind in 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 that area uh, would have been had to be willing to sacrifice their own life if in fact a bargaining uh, failed um, so the person that was thinking over this concept uh, felt so strongly that it felt about the scenario as if it were a game, like a chess game even, uh, or a football game, or soccer game. They felt about it that, that the military authorities in the place where 
where this putative device was would be willing to negotiate the, the for the po greatest possible good outcome that this person so greatly desired. Um, uh, I, however, through heart's compassion, cannot but feel the great ill that might be done humankind if things went wrong in such a scenario. For instance, uh, there might be many people who experienced sudden uh, catastrophic death uh, and carried that awareness onto the astral plane after passing on. Uh, there might be there might be a, a long war effort after that through which many women and children as well as soldiers in battle would suffer because of the uh, because of the depredations caused by war um, so so my heart went out to these people on this putative timeline where where negotiations failed uh, so, but in order to in order to influence a situation like that, we need to think in terms of the Saturnian values. We have to think uh, very. We have to think things through in an, a very unemotional way, a logical way, and because their desire is to evolve humankind. So, so my thought was. Uh, to explain to the person who was like an intermediary, a dreamer, dreaming the Saturnian dream and hoping to to speed things along here on Earth, to introduce the notion that the military uh, in, in a country might as easily decide to engage in a pinpoint strike on the person who was offering their life to sacrifice as a sacrifice by by being the person that would push the button on the portable bomb uh, then that area of the country would be inundated with uh, nuclear uh, fallout and so the whole region would would suffer now for the person in question who is dreaming the dream that might be his very own uh, geographic location and uh, for that person in question might be thinking, in his subconscious mind he might be thinking, we need more land for, for myself and the people in my group, we need more land, and this would be a way to obtain it, you know. Uh, but So if he was thinking that in his subconscious mind, then knowing that there would be fallout all over that area would be a way for him to... Uh, to cease thinking that, and knowing that it, that 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 method would fail in a very logical, uh, un lacking in compassion way, would be a way to persuade the Saturnians not to to undertake that doomsday scenario, and from the um, multi the multi point of view, that particular timeline, that catastrophic, uh, uh, apocalyptic timeline might be merged in with the, uh, the more compassionate timelines that are, that are happening on Earth now that she has arisen. So winning all round in that way by, by, um, by mirroring the uh, cultural values of other species, other sentient species in our solar system. I have another instance of um, Saturnian intervention in human affairs prior to the understanding about the shades of the the optimal shades of green of the heart chakra of the human being. Um, there was an instance where uh, there was there was a group leader 
long, long years ago, according to the urban astral legends. Um, there was a group leader long years ago who, who sought knowledge and um, wisdom, much in the way that the Saturnians do, and so there was a resonance in the energy fields, the higher energy fields of the human, with the lower energy fields of the Saturnians. And um, interestingly enough, this leader and the group of people that was surrounded him long years ago, uh, but all had um, dysfunctional, um, dis disease-prone uh, lower triangles. They had um, uh, imperfections in the body of light of the colors of um, yellow and orange and red at the beneath the heart. And, but however, these were not noticed, as I've mentioned prior, these were not considered valuable or important by the Saturnians who, whose own energy fields do not extend that into that type of color range. Um, so they did not know that, that the work in the world of, of the wisdom-prone um, leader and group uh, would be influenced by those colors in a way that's that's in, it's not optimal for humankind, and so so the um, Saturnians aligned with them, and their intention in doing that because they felt that they expressed the highest good for humankind uh, was to allow them to have power over other humans that they felt would not have that beneficial effect on humankind. And one of the um, forms of knowledge that they imparted to that group of people was to, um, they, they noticed was this. They noticed that the leader and his followers, after passing on into astral form, would find themselves in great, great suffering, great agony, in the hell worlds, and to alleviate this unfortunate consequence, which had to do with the imperfections in the lower chakras uh, burning off there, um, they suggested that the living uh, members of the group should <clears throat> um, should curse uh, people with compassionate hearts so that they had demonic incursions into their energy fields. And the idea being that a, that a, a reasonable, wise um, uh, accord might be effected with the members of the demon realm that were torturing the deceased members of the group um, by offering the members of the demon realm, the the compassionate hearts of saints and mystics and light workers and pathfinders and way showers and people of that sort. Um, so, so this was knowledge imparted through the Saturnians to human beings whose um, whose energy field was not perfect in the uh, not perfectly optimal in the range of the lower triangle. And uh, for a long time, because the knowledge of the Saturnians is, is far greater, far, the wisdom is far more advanced than that of the people of Earth, uh, for a long time there was that soul ascendancy of soul-wounded, uh, imbalanced energy fields due to the teachings of the Saturnians. Now. Now I believe the understanding has been reached that that the the change in the the um, the wash the colors of the lower energy field um, can be affected greatly through Saturnian intervention, and that that will then flow down into um, into the lower triangle and heal the people that have this trouble uh, of wanting world domination and power over others and, and to uh, curse and taint and obsess with demonic presence the lives of, 
of saints and light workers and compassionate hearts worldwide. So this is very good news. A long story. So here's another story about the Saturnians. I heard them say from far off in a plaintive way just now, uh, they use the word V. It means something like a vicious human being. Um, it said, V will do that rat attack thing for no reason at all, all the time. And I explained that the reason he did, they're, they're talking about the antisocial personality, but they don't, they don't like have the the um, sensitivity to go deep into the density of the dimensions, the colors here on Earth. So they don't know that the trouble has to do with the chakras, uh, the lower triangle. They don't know, they don't observe the colors or the sounds of the colors. Um, yellow, orange, and red. And so, and that's where the ratatat happens from. Uh, that's where the killing occurs from. And so, I, I explained that when the color green of the heart chakra is optimal, then ratatat does not occur. And I think that that that, that will be sufficient for them because they're uh, stores of wisdom are very great and their understanding of things is so great that just a, a brief explanation of that sort will completely change our interspecies relations and so we will have less prevalence of antisocial personality if they're able to make changes in the shade of our color green for our heart chakra. That will improve the um, functionality of the astral bridge that connects the the lower mind with the higher mind. And so we will have the whole human being functioning in a way that's capable of, of, of having loving families, relationships, and nurturing the young. And uh, I also feel that for the breadwinner in the family, the optimum shade of green will allow sustained endeavor, economic endeavor that that keeps a roof over the family's head and keeps food on the table and does not result in discord in the family life. This will be great. Well, blessings all. I hope I, it's been a long night and I hope this will suffice for the, for the near future.